So, in this time of me being off from YouTube, I discovered that I love producing songs, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do literally all the time. I'm doing a challenge, and I'm gonna be trying to make a song in five minutes. It's not gonna be excellent, because obviously that stuff takes time. There's a progression I've been wanting to make a song with, so we're gonna be, like, testing stuff out with that. Also, you guys don't see the setup I have right now, but I will put a picture of it right now. Got my MIDI keyboard. It looks like a piano, which it is, but I can do drum noises and all that with it. I got my Focusrite audio interface. That's the part that that allows the music to go through my Mac. And obviously we got my MacBook, and then we have my HX Stump XL effects pedal, and I got it for Christmas. And then we got my in-ears as well. In-ears are very important to hear yourself, and I wear these on stage too. We got my capo. For the past year, I've been using GarageBand to make all my music, and it's actually not too bad. I got Logic Pro for Christmas. It's similar to GarageBand, so hopefully I can navigate through it, but this is like literally like my first time using it, so don't bully me. Okay, everyone say hi to Matthew. Say hi. Hi, Matthew. Woo! Okay, so fun fact, I don't I don't know how to connect like the screen recording to this so I'm gonna spend the next like 15 to 30 minutes figuring that out before I even start this video. You guys can't even see me playing guitar. Okay, so it's literally been an hour. I'm kind of scared. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I've never made a song in five minutes before. I'm not gonna finish it. It'll be like a little intro. Okay, three, two, one, go! Dude, how did I mess that up? I like it because I sped up a lot, but I don't have like I don't have time to redo stuff, so I'm just gonna keep moving on. And for the drums, I'm thinking like a boom, 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 like a swing type beat. Like, sounds horrible. So we're gonna do we're gonna add a swing to this. Maybe like turn it down a little bit. I don't like this. I'm re-recording this. I'm so sorry. I got three minutes left. like my best 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 work because i get that brushed and under pressure i'm gonna go over everything so you guys kind of understand this part right here this is like the main lead line And it'll be more uh, it'll be more open towards like in the verses and stuff this is the bass line i always like to use 60s combo for bass line I also like to have my bass panned in the middle. I have my main riff and my bass line in the middle. I like making summer type songs, so Serpent Stereo is always one preset that I use all the time in like all of my songs. Personally, I would re-record that just because I was like guessing and moving randomly. I didn't really have that in check. I don't have time to re-record it, so it is what it is. I have it panned to the right. I always pan my surfing stereos because it's kind of like a background effect thing. And then obviously we have the drums. I added a swing to it. And you have the final product, which is this. Basically it. Was my camera in focus? I don't know if the camera is in focus. Dude, I don't even know what's happening. Okay, but yeah, that's what I like doing all the time. That's a very rushed version of it though. Usually I spend days on my songs. Okay guys, so it's really bothering me that I don't have a pad on this. And, and a pad is basically kind of like, I don't know, you'll see. So basically <laughs> I'm using my MIDI keyboard now to do this stuff. Right now it's set as a piano. So we're gonna change it to like, I like using the warm synth pad. I 
I love messing with sounds. Like, I just love it. Like, listen to this. Like, what is that, bro? That's creepy. What about just this? If you guys want a part two where I figure out the whole song, just let me know. Because I'm tired and I need to go to bed. So, yeah. Good night.